Here's another goddamn glitch of YouTube. Next, another interesting story that's in the news. How do I how do I save this video to my damn playlist? Where where's the option? I see that where I can share. Where's the option to, to save the, my, my playlist? That fucking pissing me. Suck my dick. Fun to create with friends. Now, you have to do this. This pit, this fucking pissing me off. No one should be afraid to pull them out. So what if your family sends a form around March? Oh, you goddamn motherfucker. There the fuck it goes. There the fuck it goes. Why, why did I have to re refresh the damn video and find this shit? She grows up with Master Singer. Big, big taste. Big, big taste. Big, big taste. And now, some trouble buses in the news. They're called advanced design buses with sleek, squared off bodies and big, dark windows. They're supposed to be more comfortable, easier to get onto and off of, and they use less fuel than the older models. But they have big problems. Several city officials have pulled many of these new buses off the road. In Houston, the air conditioners kept breaking down. In Atlanta, there were also brake problems and cracks in the bus frames. 
New York City pulled more than 600 of the new buses off the road. Holy drivers were found in supporting so many of them, and one bus's engine fell out. In Los Angeles, more than 200 buses were out of service because of cracks. These buses are made by the Grumman Corporation, the same company that built the Lunar Lander, which put men on the moon. Grumman has promised to fix the faulty buses, but there's a slew of legal problems. Meanwhile, officials in New York had to figure out a way to ease the crunch caused by losing 600 buses. They got some help from Washington, D.C., which is leasing New York 100 buses it had stopped using. Those buses made the trip to New York last Saturday, and some were put to work just before Christmas. I'm Christopher Glenn with Bus Problems in the News. Here's another interesting story that's in the news. <laughs> in the news, the future of Alaska's wilderness. Congress has set new rules to keep parts of Alaska's wilderness the way it is and to let developers into some other parts. We'll be back with the Alaska Lands Bill in the news. Sponsored by Ronald McDonald and all his friends. Yeah, 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 This is over 40 years ago in Kansas, Kansas City. City. Alaska is America's land Texas, but with fewer people that live in... 49 states is more than twice as large as Texas, but with fewer people that live in Kansas City. Alaska is America's last frontier. It's so big and so wild that some mountains and rivers haven't been given names. Congress has been talking for nearly four years about keeping more of Alaska's wilderness just the way it is. This month, Congress, Congress reached, reached a decision. decision. Scattered, Scattered areas of wilderness, adding up to more land than there is in all of California, will be set aside, restricted in various ways. Slightly more than half of the newly restricted land will have total wilderness protection. No mining or logging will be allowed. The rest, a little less than half, will be restricted in many ways, but some oil exploration, mining, and timber cutting will be allowed. Right. Suddenly, with this bill, Alaska will have two-thirds of America's national park land. Many Alaskans object to having the federal government tell them what they can and can't do with their wilderness. On the other hand, many conservationists and environmentalists want Congress to put even more restrictions on the use of Alaska's wilderness. Both sides say they'll try to get the new Congress to make changes next year. I'm Christopher Glenn with Alaska's Wilderness. In the news. In the news, a, a sudden surge in airplane hijacks. After several years, years relative quiet, quiet, the skies between Miami and Havana are busy again, with hijacked jetliners headed into Cuba. We'll be back with airplane hijacking in the news. Sponsored by Chuck E. Cheese's. You can smile at America with Chuck E. Cheese. Sunset 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 Cheese. Sunset
2000 style games that ain't shit that cost an arm and a leg to fucking play. The shit that we're knows at me. And now, airplane hijacking in the news. It seems like every other day this month, someone has taken over a plane heading to or from Miami, Florida, and forced it to fly to Havana, Cuba. Taking over a plane and forcing it to fly to somewhere other than its destination is called hijacking. No shit, the word goes back to days when bandits no shit, would hold up wagons and carriages on the road. Many of them would hail potential victims with a cheerful hijack, then rob them when they stopped to answer the friendly greeting. Airplane hijacks have been going on for about 15 years. Airport officials have installed X-ray machines and metal detectors to find bombs and weapons. Even with tight security, a few hijackers still get through. Some hijackings have been for political reasons. But most, most of those to Cuba have been due to homesickness. Cuba, Cuba is an island nation just 90 miles off the coast of Florida. Coast of Florida. But the U.S. does not have, have formal ties with the communist government there. And there, there are, are no regular fights between the two countries. countries. But there, there are many Cubans living in the U.S. Many, many came over in a huge boat lift three years, years ago. ago. Now it seems some of them want to go home. And they figure hijacking is the only way to do it. In the news, Henry Kissinger returns to government. Former Secretary of State Henry Kissinger was named this week by President Reagan to head a special commission on 